There's that old cliche, everyone knows it, throw records out the window when two bitter rivals play, but it really fits when Montana and Montana State meet on the football field. You know, all week long, we've talked about offense, defense, playoff scenarios, betting odds, underdogs, favorites, but maybe no one could have predicted how the 119th edition of Cat Grizz would have played out. MSU has won three straight, but Troy Anderson, last year's hero in street clothes for the Cats, didn't matter. First play of the game, Samore Toure fumbles. Derek Marks will fall on it. MSU takes over in Grizz territory, and they capitalize. Here's Kevin Cassis on the reverse. Eight yards untouched to the end zone. 7-0 Montana State after a Tristan Bailey field goal made it 10-0. Cats threatening yet again. Logan Jones on the sweep, and the senior finds the end zone from 18 yards out. 17-0. Cats, second quarter we go. Here's Tyrone Marshall on the end around. Finds the sideline, outruns the defense. This will be a 29-yard score, and it makes it 24 to nothing. Bobcats. Montana is shell-shocked, but they finally find an answer. Marcus Knight in from two yards out. Back to a 17-point lead, but check out the response from the Bobcats. Isaiah Afonso, fully healthy from the Wildcat, finds a hole to the right side, turns on the Jets, makes it 31-7. Cats, just before half, Knight bounces to the outside for another Montana Grizzly score. It's 31-14 at the break, but it was Montana State's day. Afonso, 21 carries, 173 yards, three touchdowns. He's the hero for Montana State, and the Bobcats win big 48-14. Jeff Choate remains the Grizz killer. MSU records its first four-game win streak in the series in 42 years. Tom Tibbetts caught up with the winners. From the opening kickoff to the final whistle, the Montana State Bobcats dominated the Montana Grizzlies in every aspect of the 119th Cat Grizz game. And the centerpiece to the 48-14 win for the Bobcats was the line of scrimmage. And I think that was really the difference, um, us being able to find a consistent way to run the ball and then uh, you know, pass the ball efficiently, which was the goal. And guys like Isaiah Fonse and Logan Jones reap the benefits the offensive line produce. Honestly, it doesn't matter who's back there. Uh, it's always next man up no matter what happens. So, uh, you know, we trust everyone on this team and we want everyone to do well. So um, we'll block hard for whoever's back there. But, you know, we just want everyone to give their best effort. And now we wait until tomorrow to see if MSU gets a first round bye after their huge blowout win. I'm going to send it over to Jack Ginsburg to recap what went wrong for the Grizz. From the first offensive play on Saturday afternoon, the number eight Montana State Bobcats defense swarmed the number three Montana Grizzlies and beat them in convincing fashion for the fourth time in a row. Their sole focus is to beat us. Maybe we need to start doing that ourselves. So I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where I'm failing. So. Good job by them. Just kind of the way the game didn't play out in our favor in any form or fashion. And part of that's us not doing a good job, and part of that's them, them doing a really good job. We uh, had our chances, and we didn't, we didn't make the plays. And if you're going to come back, you need first stops on defense, and then you got to make plays on offense. And we got some of those stops in the third quarter, certainly. And then we, uh, we didn't make the plays we needed to. We made a couple to get ourselves going, and then we didn't complete drives. So. Tomorrow is Selection Sunday, where the Grizz will find out their fate in the 2019 playoffs. That's all for me here at Bobcat Stadium. 